Com and Natural News, and uh, we will uh, get uh, uh, hopefully some of the big sites to carry it uh, if his lordship, Matt Drudge, uh, sees fit. Well, just to clarify, I don't know if it's an environmental court or maybe just a special environmental prosecutor who's going who's going to take the case through the regular court system. So no, but I mean, it's an environmental prosecutor is what yes, I'm saying. A absolutely. And the other element in this is that there were children who could not feed on their mother's breast milk for a variety of, of health reasons. And they were being uh, raised on the raw goat's milk that was being sold in this store. By the way, let so me stop you. If you go back to doctors even 30, 40 years ago, Germany, Europe, here, they would say, get the get raw milk, and, and, and or they even say, get the milk of a Jenny or a female donkey, they say is even better in, in matching. And that's what the baby needs. But no, you will drink corn syrup. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. It, it, Everybody knows in, in the nutrition field that raw goat's milk is the closest thing for, uh, to mother's milk for an infant. And so there are many children in L.A. who today don't have their milk because of what these, what I can only call government terrorists. Yeah, I knew the goat the was store. good, but, but uh, 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 Jenny's isn't even better? Uh, my understanding is that goat's milk is, is still the best, but probably either one is better than pasteurized Well, you're the milk expert. Sure. You're the health rancher. You're going to be with us tonight. You're also going to be in studio doing RT later today from our studios. Mike Adams, great job for filling us in. Catherine you, Albrecht, Alex. straight ahead. You bet. Stay with us. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee where they make blue diamond gusset jeans. They so pride in every stitch. Guarantee you love the way they fit. Put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gusset's got it. Others don't. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection. So you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to go to Catherine Albrecht, uh, who's done uh, yeoman's work out there. 
exposing the total panopticon spy grid, as we, of course, have done for 16 years. But uh, now it's 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 beyond RFID chips. It, it's it's just total total surveillance. Meanwhile, uh, recession seen looming as jobless benefits end. CNBC, the, we never left the recession, and they knew that. And no matter how much money you give the bankers and how much services you cut, we're signed on to one thousand five hundred trillion. Okay, it's impossible to pay. We don't owe it. In fact, if you gave, well, even getting into the math, what would happen if you gave 310 million Americans their percentage of uh, 1.5 quadrillion? How much would that be individually? It's ridiculous. In fact, Jeremy, will you do that equ uh, equation, uh, uh, divide that um, 1,500 trillion by 310 million? I'm going to find out how much that is per person if we're going to pay that back. <laughs> how much they say we know, 14 trillion. Uh, Eurozone policymakers failed to extinguish market fire. Geithner, future as Treasury Secretary, not certain. Yeah, throw him out, throw him under the bus like like that's going to change something when the same mega banks own this country through fraud. Trichet says Eurozone in better shape than U.S., Japan. Italian prosecutor sees documents from Moody's S&P uh, to find out why they're claiming that Europe's in worse shape than the U.S., um, I remember two weeks ago, that was reported on by Tarpley here, as he, re he reads Italian, he speaks Italian. Uh, will Germany save the euro from collapse? I mean, it is just bedlam, and the stock market is down. The Dow is down 370.81, NASDAQ 93.05, S&P 4205. Uh, and I thought it was going to be milk and honey with the debt deal, you see, which actually increases spending. And they announced the QE3, continued de uh, dollar devaluation. We're going to be covering that uh, as the show goes on. But I wanted to get Catherine uh, Albrecht uh, here on the broadcast uh, with us. Um, well, t to also find out how her uh, health is going, uh, fighting breast cancer. And, and obviously, every, all of us praying for her. I know I say a prayer uh, every time I think about her. And all the other you know good, great people out there that are battling such things. I've got a wife and my Mother and my grandmother, who's actually battling breast cancer, um, but I'm a, I shouldn't even got into that. The point is, is that um, uh, that I have I have two daughters. It's just a terrible thing. And then you read about the bisphenol A and all the rest of it, uh, helping contribute to it. Uh, but uh, there there is so much other news uh, with Catherine uh, Albrecht that I uh, want to uh, discuss with her today. Really covering the waterfront. Uh, she's also a radio talk show host um, and author with just the full on assault of control where they used to deny that they were spying on us. Now it's just out in the open face scanning cameras, license plate readers, biometrics at the airport. Um, and her website is uh, CatherineAlbrecht.com. She's also Dr. Uh, Albrecht, a master's in education from Harvard with concentration in technology, innovation, and education. Catherine, great to have you here with us. Hey, Alex, it is always such a joy to come on your program and a warm hello to all your listeners. They have sent uh, just such beautiful emails and cards and letters of supporters have been battling breast cancer. And I just wanted to say a warm thank you to everybody out there listening. I love you guys. And it was just an amazing experience to see how much support is out there, how enormous, Alex, your audience has grown to become. I mean, you have listeners all over the world, and I know that because I've been hearing from them, and I just want to send um, just my warmest heartfelt thanks to everybody out there. Well, absolutely. Now, listen, I'm here with bated breath. I know you, you uh, gave us a message that on your own show today that you do sometimes during the week, but always at least on Saturdays you know, while you're battling uh, uh, this affliction. But, I mean, I kind of, uh, I mean, give us a preview. Of what is your health update right now? How are you doing? Well, the the update is I've kind of picked and chosen the best from both worlds. And I know that there, I mean, what I've learned, there's a raging war going on between the people who are sort of the traditional oncology, conventional medicine folks. And, uh, you know, dare I say it, the pharmaceutical industry on the one side, the, you know, the natural alternative health practitioner people on the other side. And I guess because I have uh, an academic training, as you mentioned, I have a doctorate from Harvard and I've spent a lot of time learning how to research. I've kind of picked and chosen the best from both. And so in, in, in my case, I have uh, stage 3C breast cancer. So for people who, who are familiar with cancer, that means that the cancer in my breast had actually spread up into the lymph nodes under my arm, but it didn't go any further. 
And that's the good news. If you catch it in time before it actually gets into, you know, a, an organ or into the bones or metastasizes and puts you into stage four, if you catch it in time, then actually the conventional treatments, and I know this is going to be heresy on your show, <laughs> but the conventional treatments actually add a tremendous amount to your life expectancy. So in my case, you know, and I, I was just as skeptical as everybody else. I was like, oh my gosh, I'll never do chemo. I'll never do surgery, radiation, forget it. And the more I've actually researched it because of my case, which is what's called locally advanced breast cancer. It's not just a little lump. It's not just a tiny little thing. They do a lumpectomy and that's it. And, you know, when people get that, lifestyle changes, diet, exercise, supplements can make an enormous difference. When you've got a big tumor, and mine was the size of a mouse, all right, so I want you to just picture a mouse. That's big. Uh, when you've got a big tumor like that, you must get it out of the body because you're putting so much stress and pressure on your body to try to eliminate it. If you can, if you if you have the surgery and allow them to remove that factory of cells, then you can go on to some of the you know other approaches to try to get the rest of it out of your body. And that's you know it's circulating around. It's in my lymphatic system. It's in my bloodstream, and it's trying to get a toehold on another part of my body. So in my case, what I've done is uh, I actually am part of a, a cutting edge clinical trial of a brand new drug down at Dana Farber, which is one of the top cancer institutes in the country. That would be my other piece of advice to anybody battling cancer. Don't just go to your local hospital down the street. Get yourself, even if you have to get on an airplane, to a top notch cancer institute, a research institute. There's about a dozen of them across the country. MD Anderson is probably your nearest one down there in Texas. They're down in Houston. Um, for me, it's Dana-Farber down in Boston, both excellent institutions. You go there and you at least hear, what, what do you have for me? What is my prognosis? You know, what, what does this look like? And they'll give it to you straight. Uh, your oncologist, it, oncologists want you to live. <laughs> I don't know about the drug companies necessarily, but the oncologist absolutely wants you to live. And your oncologist will map out, here's what we do. Here is the best that we can offer from medical science. And I think anybody who doesn't at least get that consult and that information is missing out on a huge potential um, resource that could save their lives. So in absolutely. My case, if you just go to the country hospital, even if they're great doctors... They've got 10, 20 year old technology. It's the big research hospitals where my dad actually uh, worked in high school uh, and in college. He actually spent a lot of time at MD Anderson years total. They had really advanced stuff even back in the back in the 60s. Who, who knows what they've got now? But overall, then, I mean, it, it, is all of this helping? Are you doing better? Because well, it is because what what I'm doing is I'm on this experimental trial. It's it's a drug that's shown a whole lot of promise. I'm going to be on it until October of 2012. <laughs> so that's a long time. So I'm going to be in treatment for a long time. Most women, after like four to six months, they're done with their breast cancer treatment and get on with their lives and just hope it never comes back. For me, it's going to be a longer road, but uh, I'm feeling great. I am supplementing all of this, the traditional stuff, the conventional stuff I'm doing. I'm taking curcumin. I'm alkalizing. I'm drinking raw juices. I'm doing all of that stuff, too. And when you put them together, you know, I think that's really when you get the, the best package. And, you know, I'm going to be writing some of this up. I actually had a bunch of people ask me. I was on Coast to Coast last night talking about this. A bunch of people wrote and said, can you just write up what you figured out? Because I can't find anybody else saying this. You know, they're either saying, you know, don't do the conventional route. Get rid of the chemo. Don't even think about it. Or they're saying, you know, blow off all these supplements, you know, alkalization, all this stuff doesn't work. And I'm, I'm trying to integrate the two. So I will be writing that up, and you know, people want to stay tuned for that. I, w I would love to, you know, share that as I get a little deeper into this whole process. Absolutely, um, and I'm uh, I'm just really glad that you're willing to even talk about this uh, because it, it affects so many people, and all of us have a have a dog in the fight. And so, and so and we're all. One in eight women, Alex. One in eight women in their lifetime will actually be diagnosed with breast cancer, and that's horrifying. You know, you look at India, where where they're in the sun, so they're getting vitamin D. Unlike us, we're indoors, you know, typing away on our computers or watching TV or in offices. In India, their breast cancer rates and prostate cancer rates, which I guess is the equivalent for guys, you know, the hormone cancer, they're a fraction of what we have. And it's because of the sunlight, the vitamin D, which, you know, we can supplement that. And it's also because they are eating this rich diet in spices and vegetables and natural foods and things that God put on this earth. So, you know, it's it's amazing to me. One in eight women in this country, it's, it's like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like, epidemic. But, I mean, obviously, Dr. Albert, you've looked at the bisphenol A, they admit 
It's hyper-feminizing women, making them go into puberty early, not just all the hormones in the meat, and then feminizing boys, and that it's uh, uh, you know, really wreaking havoc. What a nightmare. And then, and then soy. I mean, this is all stuff you've talked about on your show. You've got Teflon, you know, all this crazy stuff that we're just saying, oh, yeah, it's safe. Or, or I had somebody tell me the other day, I was talking about Teflon, and they said, well, I, I was actually talking to a girl. She went and told her mom, we need to get rid of our Teflon pans. And the mom said, that's crazy. If it were so bad for you, it would be illegal to sell it. And I'm thinking, I'm rolling well, my eyes. <laughs> well, many cancers have doubled in the last.